I'm Gia Goodrich and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna show you how to photograph somebody with muscles. Yes, that's fabulous. Your abs look fierce. really not fun. Okay, I'm gonna leave the rest to you. I'm joined by the amazing Leanne, who is a mom, burn cycle instructor, fitness model, general amazing person, and cancer survivor. We're gonna look at her shredded abs physique situation. I'm gonna show you how to emphasize it. And thinking about strength and power. Mm -hmm. Yes. The big thing about photographing somebody to emphasize their muscles is you don't want flat light. The light that's coming on me right now, it's pretty flat, it's pretty even. Typically that's pretty flattering, however, it doesn't emphasize any sort of texture or muscles or anything like that. So if you have somebody who has definition, it's just kind of a lost cause. The first thing you want to do is elevate the light because then that way the light is coming down at an angle, creating little pockets of shadow. Pretend I have a muscle here. The light is coming and then it will create a little shadow where there's definition. I know you're impressed here. The second thing is we want to sweep it over to the side. You're getting shadows two ways. You're getting shadows from the height that are a little bit underneath and you're getting shadows from the side so a little bit to the side. So creating that sweeping light that's coming from a high angle and to the side makes it so you're really going to see difference between light and shadow which is what builds definition. I'm using a big boom because I wanted my light to get high. You don't need to have a big boom like this. You can have a friend with a light on a ladder which most people have done at some point. I have one pro photo head up here. So you'll notice it's rear facing. That means the light is hitting this umbrella and then it's going through this panel of diffusion. It's Elastolite Scrim in large and I use it all the time, it's amazing. If you don't have this, you can take PVC pipe and a semi-translucent shower curtain and shoot through it. It's the same thing, you can save yourself $400. The light is coming from up top, is gonna hit her this way. Create any sort of moments where there's definition and allow that to really be seen. There's going to be some area that's darker on this side of the backdrop. What I have to combat that, and it's also gonna create a little bit of beautiful edge light, is a second light back here. Now, this light, again, because I don't want any hot spots hitting her skin, is pointing back to this umbrella. And if you'll see, it is angled down because it's really only going to fill in a little bit of that darkness that would be on the backdrop and just give her a little bit of edge light here. The last thing I have today is a V-flat, which is creating negative fill. This is going to up the contrast because in this room, there are little subtle places that the light can bounce off of. And this is gonna make sure that that edge to her is dark where the rim light isn't hitting. So that's the lighting setup today and I'm gonna show you how that looks. Good, really flexing, pushing down with the shoulders, perfect. Bring me totally square and centered, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Bring your mouth together and really make it, yeah, tough, good. Like that, yes, love that. Okay, ready and go again. Okay, perfect. Got the balls of your feet. Um, yeah, I think that's good. We did it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because every week I'm coming out with new content to help you be the badass photographer of your dreams. I have my amazing partner who's offered generously to work as camera operator. Say hello to that face. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Can you, can you come over here? I just say okay a bazillion times. Okay. I'm like, okay, okay. okay. Jenner, I can't talk. <laughs> My life is a workout, okay?